Bump Tankster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, check out our website, which is hankstress.com. It's where you'll find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, we never take down. We leave them up between both our locations. So we use the same channel for here in Daytona, as well as our Pennsylvania store. <coughs> However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that particular unit comes down off of our website, letting you know it's no longer available for sale. Hankstersgarage.com, not only do we sell and distribute automotive parts and accessories all over the United States, more importantly, we install them. So if you're watching one of our video presentations on a classic car and you decide you want different wheels and tires, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, a custom exhaust, a custom interior, a custom dash, things like that, we can handle all those needs for you prior to your vehicle shipping. Hankstersgarage.com, check it out. Well, um, I am excited today that we have a beautiful piece of Mopar history to offer you uh, for sale at Hankster's Hot Rods Daytona Beach. In 1969, Plymouth GTX. It's a 440 car. It is a numbers matching four speed car. <clears throat> it is not the original block in the car. We do have the original numbers matching motor for the vehicle. Power steering, power brakes, cars correct by the fender tag. Uh, the correct color, the correct white vinyl top, everything. So let's check it out. <clears throat> Underneath the hood, you will see the black brake booster on the driver's side firewall indicating that you have power brakes. It does have a fender tag, um, and we will have a photo on our website. And I'll tell you when you break it down, uh, the car started life green with a uh, white vinyl top, four speed, uh, 440, of course. <clears throat> everything uh, power steering and of course there is no AC uh, air grabber hood let's check out this outstanding vehicle uh, car is green uh, with matte black uh, stripes uh, the paint on the car is pretty fantastic uh, here in the center of the hood uh, green nice color uh, I told you the uh, stripes are uh, vinyl, matte black, and then the uh, top of the fender here on the driver's side looks to be in good condition. Uh, no blistering, cracking, bubbling, any kind of issues there. Uh, passenger side, uh, there is a little tiny chip there out of the passenger side fender, you can see. Other than that, uh, the paint is flawless, fantastic, no uh, issues. <clears throat> the front of this GTX is outstanding. Uh, the GTX badge in the center of the grill is in uh, pretty awesome condition. Same thing with all of your chrome encompassing both driver's side and passenger side headlights. Uh, the chrome on the front bumper is fantastic. Uh, no pitting, rusting, flaking, any kind of issues there whatsoever. Taking a step around the car to the driver's side, uh, let's take a look first at the front fender. Um, there's no issues in the paint in the front fender. The paint on this car, in my opinion, uh, eight and a half out of 10, maybe even a nine out of 10. Really, really, really nice paint on the vehicle. Uh, red line tires on the car. I have a little breakdown sheet of what this car actually is in the trunk that we will go over with you. By the way, it's a super track pack car. So um, that's the motor that's in it uh, currently. Like I said, it's not the numbers matching, but I do have the numbers matching motor is just the block. Um, we'll have photos of that on our website. Uh, down low here, it is that same matte black material that is up on the hood, um, but low here on the fender, uh, there's no paint issues whatsoever. Hopefully you can see how nice the paint is in our video presentation as well as our photos. Uh, the wheel opening moldings on the car are installed properly and they look good. They're on all four uh, wheel openings. The uh, front windshield, uh, quality, condition, clarity, fantastic. No uh, chips, no cracks, no issues going on whatsoever. Cowl area is in nice shape. Uh, there's your uh, VIN number we'll, we'll have on the website. Looking through the front windshield, you can see not only the uh, dash itself, but the dash pad uh, look to be in good shape also. <coughs> 
I mentioned before we have a vinyl top on this car. It's white. Um, you can see no issues above the front windshield, uh, blistering, bubbling uh, underneath the uh, vinyl top. It's in good shape. Uh, that real expensive uh, Mopar uh, mirror mounted to the uh, dr uh, driver's side uh, door there. That's in good shape as well. No rusting, pitting in it. <clears throat> glass clarity is pretty nice. Uh, vent window, door glass, quarter window. Um, you know, your door glass here has your faint typical scratching for uh, classic cars, but uh, overall the glass quality around the entire vehicle is uh, uh, fairly nice. Um, on all the, uh, the glass. We've seen the front windshield, side window glass. Uh, we'll do the rear and the uh, passenger side here shortly. Going back to our vinyl top before we pop open the uh, driver's side door. No issues up there, all nice and smooth. Uh, it's not, uh, you know, it's white so it's not stained up or, uh, you know, peeling or any kind of rust issues here uh, in the drop down to the rear quarter. I know you guys probably can't see it because of the camera angle, but behind the drip rail is nice. There's no uh, rusting or blistering or bubbling going on there. The driver door, fantastic. Body lines on this car are exceptional. I'm really happy we have this car and we were able to land this car because somebody's going to get themselves a nice piece of Mopar history with this 69 GTX. Uh, your driver door, there's no paint issues whatsoever. Look at how nicely the door fits to the rear quarter. Down low here to the rocker, everything lines up nicely. You have your chrome uh, body molding there that runs down the side of the car uh, where your, your black meets your green. All the chrome is real nice, um, no issues there. Of course, your GTX badge on the rear quarter there. <clears throat> it's a green, green car. So let's start out with the door panel. Uh, black armrest, wood grain on the door panel, not the... Uh, Stained, deteriorated, peeling, uh, painted green top, painted green bottom. The door panel's in exceptional condition. Look at those courtesy lights illuminating around that four-speed shifter. Yes, this is a center console four-speed shifter car, 69 GTX. They don't get much better than that. Uh, let's figure out if I can see how to put the seat forward. Rear seat belts, uh, all of your... Uh, vinyl in the rear here, all in real nice condition. Um, seat belts look to be in good shape. Uh, carpeting underneath the rear floor mat in nice condition. Your uh, <coughs> dome light illuminates and uh, illuminating around that looks to be in fantastic shape. Headliner, no rips, no tears. There's a little tiny wrinkle on the driver's side that you can't really see from our current camera angle, but uh, Take a look at the photos. It's just a little tiny wrinkle. It's not bad at all. Headrests, driver's side and passenger side, both in fantastic condition. The vinyl on the seat back and the seat butt, seat, seat, whatever you want to call it, uh, in nice shape. Uh, no rips, cracks, tears. Uh, front seat belts also. I told you the courtesy lights are illuminated in the center console. The uh, carpeting going up the hump to the center console in nice shape, not discolored. Sweet GTX floor mats, the uh, carpeting in the car. A little frizzy on the uh, driver's side here, uh, but no tears, no uh, rips through the carpeting. Uh, three pedal car, of course. Uh, all your, uh, your accelerator pedal, brake pedal, clutch pedal, all in, in nice shape. Um, our steering wheel looks to be in good condition. Uh, the uh, gauge clarity on this car, really nice too. Uh, you see up there the uh, map light illuminates as well above the glove box. This is a nice car. Of course, we will take a closer look at the interior when we are on a test drive in this GTX. So, how straight is the car? Let's take a look at the body lines. Uh, we'll give our camera angle a shot down the side of that large rear quarter for this GTX. Uh, follow the camera angle from the rear quarter to the driver door to the front fender and you will see that the body lines on this car are exceptional. Also, no rust issues, bubbling, cracking, anything going on low on the quarter. The uh, rear quarter paint here is exceptional. Look at that. I can see myself in it. That's how nice it is. It's a really nice paint job on the car. Um, 
there's a little, little tiny dent in your chrome molding right there. It's very minuscule, but uh, is there. So let's take a look at our rear uh, glass clarity. The uh, glass, you see through to the hat rack. This is a big hat rack area, speaker rack area, uh, package tray area, whatever you call it. Um, in nice shape, not faded. Uh, material is not torn up, uh, peeling. Top of the back seat, not ripped, faded. <clears throat> large rear quarters on this GTX mean large deck lid. So um, your deck lid gaps on both driver and passenger side are fairly uniform. The deck lid fits nice to the uh, rear quarters. So a big problem on the GTX is, has always been the uh, rear valance panel that goes in the back of the deck lid as well as the uh, chrome that encompasses your brake lights. So let's check it out on this GTX. All your chrome that goes around the uh, brake lights here in really nice condition. Um, the rear valance, so this always, these had a tendency to want to pit real bad. Um, this one is in outstanding condition. And if you look those up online for a true OEM one that's in good condition, you're going to pay top dollar for it. Those things aren't cheap. The uh, chrome on the uh, rear tail light here at the driver's side, there's some very faint patina right there. Um, but for those of you Mopar enthusiasts that are familiar with the GTXs in the rear, uh, this one's about as nice as they come. Without being in a concourse quality, everything correct, you know, that type of car. Uh, so let's look at the rear bumper. <clears throat> no uh, pitting issues, flaking issues, rust issues, reverse lights there in the lower bumper. The uh, dual uh, chrome tips coming out below the uh, lower portion of the bumper. Awesome, awesome car. Let's take a look in the trunk real fast. Uh, full size spare, jack, breaker bar. Um, so. This is a little breakdown. This is just from the previous owner for those of you that, <clears throat> you know, want to break down the fender tag and all that stuff. True RS, GTX, one of less than 100 factory super pack, track pack cars ever built. 900 miles on the restoration, F8 green, uh, blah, 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 blah. Numbers matching, manual four speed. Um, you know, I'll let you guys read on and read on and read on. Basically, it's the right one. A car that started life green, started life as a four speed. It's not something somebody converted to a four speed. We have the numbers matching block that will come with the car. It started life with the white vinyl top on it. Passenger side of the car, again, outstanding. This is one of the nicest cars we've put through our showroom here in 2023. We put, we turn out a lot of nice cars and I'll tell you something, this is uh, about as nice as they come. I'm very proud to have this uh, piece of inventory here in Daytona Beach. Low on the quarter, no paint issues, no rust issues, no bubbles, no anything. Uh, GTX badge there on the uh, portion of the uh, passenger side rear quarter. Uh, once again, the, uh, the, the, the clarity of the uh, emblem, real nice, not pitted, patinaed. The uh, paint is outstanding on the car. One paint flaw that I've seen, you know, a little, little tiny chip in the passenger side front fender, unfortunately, but uh, that's, there's no issues whatsoever with any kind of uh, way that the paint was applied, the clear was applied, any kind of uh, moisture in the paint on the, uh, on the metal when the paint was applied. I mean, the, 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 the color and the clear on this car are laid fantastic. The uh, vinyl top, once again, there's no issues here um, around the uh, where the top section meets the rear quarter on the passenger side or the driver's side. Um, behind the drip rails, you know, your common uh, areas of concern for vinyl top cars, no issues on this car whatsoever. Let's pop open the passenger side of the car. Uh, take a look in there as well. Uh, door panel on this car, both driver and passenger are fantastic. Armrest, panel, wood grain, paint, all of it is uh, exceptional. So you get a alternate perspective of that center console. You can see the courtesy lights once again illuminating. 
Another uh, issue on GTX's Roadrunners is the uh, center console. Uh, chrome pitting, uh, wood grain peeling or deteriorated or discolored or faded or uh, the center console in this car looks to be in pretty nice condition. This is an awesome piece. Did I say that already? Door fitment. To the rear quarter, to the front fender, to the lower rocker, everything on it's real nice. Once again, the passenger side door paint is the same as the uh, passenger side quarter, the deck lid, driver side quarter, driver side door. It's really, really nice paint on the vehicle. Whoever painted this car knew what they were doing. It's not an amateur paint job. Pentastar down low there in the... Uh, on the passenger side front fender. I always point out our Pent Pentastar because one time I got asked if that was a rust bubble. That is not a rust bubble. That is the uh, Mopar factory Pentastar that they would put on the uh, late 60s muscle on the passenger side front fender. Um, all the wheels, by the way, in nice shape. Uh, the correct factory wheels, beauty rings, lug nuts, uh, red lines, everything in real nice condition on our 69 GTX. Let's go put it in here and check out the undercarriage, and then after that we'll do a test drive. Uh, I'll show you the date code on the current motor that's in the car. Um, we'll show you the uh, partial VIN that's on the uh, tranny. We'll show you the undercarriage, uh, and then we'll take it out on a, uh, on a test drive and show you how the car runs out. This is going to be a pretty expensive car. Uh, it's a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty nice piece. This is why I encourage you guys to visit our showroom in Daytona Beach. I think this car is outstanding. And I want to know if you agree with me. That's why, like I said, I encourage you guys to come in person. We deal in selling 30, 40, 50 year old vehicles. Therefore, they are not brand new like the ones you find at the new Chevy dealership or Dodge dealership or Ford dealership. These cars have been repainted. The interiors have been redone. The motors have been redone. Things like that. When you visit our showroom here in Daytona, we'll gladly pull whatever, your ve whatever vehicle you're interested in outside for you, whether it's a 69 GTX or any other piece of our inventory. <clears throat> you're more than welcome to look at the paint outside in the sunshine. Pop the hood in the trunk. Check those out. We have two racks here in Daytona where we can put the car in the air for you. You can check out the undercarriage. Bottom of the motor, transmission, suspension components, tire condition. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the car performs. Stop, start, steers, rides, handles, all those things. This way, when the vehicle shows up wherever you're located at in the world, there's no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. We have an awesome showroom here in Daytona that we're very proud of. We have a sales staff. We have a gift shop. We have about 70 cars on hand right now, probably 58 to 62 of those are physically in the building. The rest are going through the process. But uh, again, visit us, tour our facility, see our collection of classics, check out whatever car you're interested in, pay for it, whether you're cash or financing, and then fly home, drive home, or spend a couple days here in Daytona. There's a lot of cool stuff to do. We sell a lot of cars sight unseen. In fact, that's how the majority of our business is conducted. <clears throat> I'm pleased to say we're having an outstanding month. Um, and out of the cars that we've sold so far this month, I think we've met two people face to face. Um, so it's not uncommon uh, for people to wire us funds without ever coming to see the vehicle. However, if you're a more specific or particular buyer, I definitely suggest that you come to our showroom and check the car out for yourself. Let's take our 69 GTX outside. We'll throw it up in the air and check out the undercarriage. And then we'll do a short little test drive to show you how the car runs out. Underneath our 69 GTX, we'll start out with uh, disc brakes up front here. You can see how nice that cross member looks. So let's take a look at um, the engine. The casting number on the block is 103168. So uh, this is not the original motor in the car. Yeah. This motor ends in, I think it's 5166. But we do have the original block, like I stated earlier. 
Uh, flywheel is covered. The uh, transmission in the car is also numbers matching. There's the partial VIN right there. Uh, we will have a photo of that up on the website. Frame rails on the car look good, both driver and passenger. Um, so the four pans, uh, they look good on the driver's side here from front all the way to the back. And it's the same thing on the passenger side. Now, usually we do something to our undercarriages that is called reconditioning. Uh, we paint the four pans, paint the exhaust, paint the oil pan if needed. Um, this is exactly how we got the car. So we didn't paint the underneath, we didn't paint the exhaust, we didn't paint the motor, nothing. Uh, so you have uh, exhaust manifolds coming into dual pipes, into an H pipe, dual mufflers, and then the dual exhaust that you saw in the showroom. Huge gas tank on the car to power that 440. Drum brakes in the rear. Tire condition on the car is fantastic. You can see there's plenty of tread, no dry rot. Leaf springs look good. Chrome exhaust tips look good. Uh, trunk pan looks good. Rear frame rail here. The frame rail, you can see they're heading up over the rear end all the way to the rear bumper. Everything looks good. And then it's the same thing on the driver's side. No rust issues, no rot issues. It's a beautiful car. I'm even going to give you a shot here. And let's do this side so that you can hopefully see without the sunlight in your face. See how nice the bottom of that is. Bottom of the doors rockers quarter here you get a nice shot of the quarter fantastic car 1969 Plymouth GTX time to drive it we'll set it on the ground and we'll do that here momentarily before we do that let's discuss our payment options if you're a cash buyer cashier's check from your bank and then bank wire transfer if you're financing, the collect car lenders we work with will do 5 to 15 year loans on these cars. Keep in mind, it depends on the price of the car. They're not going to lend for 15 years on a $25,000 car. Um, so keep that in mind when you are applying. Approvals are going to be based on, of course, your credit score, your debt to income ratio, time on the job, things like that, and again, the price of the car. Once you're approved, uh, you wire us or send us a cashier's check for the 10% down. That's going to be your minimum, by the way. Uh, some may require more. And then, of course, if you want to put down more, you can do so, but they're going to require a minimum of 10%. You send us the 10% or whatever you're putting down, the lending institution will wire us the remainder. Once the vehicle is paid in full, our cars go through a pre-delivery inspection. This inspection process consists of things like torquing the lug nuts, checking the tire pressure, checking all your fluid levels, um, checking uh, turn signals, brake lights, reverse lights. They're old cars. Anything can happen. Anything can stop working. Anything can start leaking at any given moment. Trust me, I deal with it on a daily basis. Therefore, we put the car through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. Once the vehicle's through inspection, go through detail, and then a carrier is dispatched and the car's on the way to you uh, if we're the ones handling the shipping. Typically, we can have a truck here within 48 hours. However, if you're any more difficult destination, sometimes it may be three, four, five business days before we can get it out of our place and heading to yours. We do work very quickly once we're funded. Once again, the process is inspection, detail, dispatch, gone. Of course, if you're the ones handling the shipping, whether you're coming to drive at home, trailer at home, or you're sending your own carrier, we'll let you know when it's ready and you can come get it. Let's set our 69 GTX on the ground. We'll take it on a test drive and show you how the car lines up. Okay, we are inside our 69 GTX horn. Tack. Tack is, of course, aftermarket, it's not factory. Uh, alternator works, fuel gauge works. A thousand miles is the mileage since the restoration. 
temp gauge does not work. That's why we have this one down here. We'll keep an eye on throughout the test drive because it's about 95 in Florida today. Plenty of oil pressure, four speed. Let's see if I can get this thing in reverse for you. There's your reverse light. Um, turn signal, driver side. Passenger side. It's a radio delete car, so there is no radio. Um, what am I forgetting? I got the vent window turned to blow air on me because it's friggin' hot. I love the heat though, so that doesn't bother me. Um, the headliner in fantastic condition. Dash pads in fantastic condition. Wood grain around the uh, glove box is in fantastic shape. It's a nice car. I like it. Told you in the showroom, the center console is probably the best I've seen. You know, the Mopar center console always has a tendency to want to patina. This one's not. Let's take it on a run and see how it rides. This car runs just as nice as it looks. Shifting through the gears is nice and easy. The ride's nice and smooth. There's no vibrations uh, from the motor, from the trans, from the tires. The response in the throttle is fantastic. Tax working. Big car, so steering's pretty friggin' tight for as big of a car as it is, you know? Um, the, the 440 rips. I mean, I'm gonna show you that here. I already got it up in the fourth gear, but uh, not only is the speedometer functioning, but it's also accurate. It's not bouncing all around. Somebody's gonna get themselves a real nice GTX. Freaking car is awesome. Check the brakes up here, see how those do. Yeah, no vibration, pulsation out of the brakes whatsoever. They stop nice and firm. Uh, don't jerk the car to one direction or the other. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So we got some traffic here. We're gonna get our test drive in before the rain. Notice how nicely we're idling. We're not spitting, sputtering, stalling out, anything like that. Let this car pass by so I can get some. All right, here we go, ready? This freaking thing rips. That's 65. As you can see, I caught up to the traffic in front of me. There's usually a pretty good flow on this road. For some reason, there's a traffic jam up here. I'm not really sure why, but uh, man, I mean, I could have, you know, ran the RPM up to 3,500, four grand. This car would have zero problems cracking six figures. It friggin' runs fantastic. Great response in the throttle. Nice. Uh, firm shifter the ease of shifting the uh, transmission through the keyway is evident i mean it's i can't say enough good uh, about this particular car runs fantastic pulls fantastic uh nice smooth ride nice quiet car for you know what i mean by quiet obviously we have the windows down so we have wind noise going on but you know the uh the dash isn't rattling center console is not rattling there's not a, a lot of noise in the internals of the vehicle on the interior fantastic look at that stopping just like it should this is a fantastic car 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in daytona beach hangsters.com is our website it's where you find all the photos of our 69 gtx along with this video presentation you're watching right this very moment at full retail price, this car includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. Warranty is good on that 440, this four speed, that rear end, and it's good at any ASD certified facility in the United States. You don't have to take it to a Dodge dealer. You don't have to take it to a special muscle car restoration center. You don't have to take it to uh, Florida, Hankster's Hot Rods, again, any ASC. Uh, reputable facility, which is most franchised and independent facilities in the United States. You can't take it to your buddy Dave at work that says he's an expert on Mopars. That's not going to cut it. 
Is the price of the car negotiable? It most certainly is, within reason, of course. We negotiate the price of this GTX, the warranty comes off. Warranty is good at full retail price only. No exceptions, so you don't have to bother asking that question. Also, the shipping comes off. There is time involved in shipping. You have to look into the carrier, make sure they're properly licensed and insured to carry your car. You have to set up the pickup of the vehicle. You have to set up the delivery of the vehicle. You have to pay the driver when they arrive. You have to call, make sure the delivery is still on schedule, things like that. Um, and a negotiated cost, you can do all those uh, things I just mentioned yourself. If you have no idea how to ship a car, that's no problem. We've got a broker we can put you in touch with who can help you with that uh, process. Maybe you're a collector or a hobbyist. You have your own opener and closed trail. You want to come trailer this GTX home yourself? You can do that. No issues. We uh, don't make any money off the shipping. We just provide it as a convenience. Maybe you're local to us here in the Sunshine State. You want to trailer this, or drive this GTX home? You can do that also. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach, and our website is hangsters.com. Check us out.